I found out it's a thing when I Googled it. There's recipes. It's a thing. It's like you put any other fruit with uh, banana bread, it's a thing. Blackberry banana bread and the offset smoker. I'd do it again. Who'd have thunk? Hope you enjoy the vi 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 video. Video. Leave, leave me a comment. I'm talking like Joe Biden now. Go Brandon. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Brandon. Uh, I don't know why I think this is a good idea, but I'm going to put just a little bit of spice rum. So maybe a couple shots. I need a little more rum. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that's a good idea. in trouble you're gonna get in lots no. of trouble you understand hey good morning guys Rico here Rico's place how you been glad you stopped by I had an uh Odie Odie's being bad this morning I think Odie's forgotten it's been a long time since he's actually been in a in a video I think he's forgotten the proper uh dog video etiquette where you don't jump up on me he's uh wet and dirty and stinks and but he's my boy now stop or you're gonna get put up okay stop stop anyhow um yeah it's been a while since i uh, i did a video i woke up this morning and uh, oh it's foggy and and, and and the dew is everywhere and mist and i felt it felt like rain that's how how much moisture is just floating around here in the air um didn't expect that i gotta start watching the local weather i guess but I had to get the smoker going, the uh, Hammer Forge beast behind me here. I was, stop. I was talking to my nephew, Donnie, in Oklahoma. Some of you may know him by uh, Vincent, but he's Donnie, Donnie Do-Gooder. Donnie Do-Gooder is what I call him. I was talking to him last night, and he told me he was going to be cooking a baking. A lemon blackberry bread. He's 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 a little baker, you know. He's baking. He's he's, he's the master baker, I think. And uh, I thought, well, shoot, let's let's do a little collaboration. I'll I'll make a blackberry bread also. Uh, so here I am. We are making or baking a blackberry pumpkin bread, but we're doing a little bit different. We're not going to put it in the oven. We're going to put it back here in the smoker, in the Hammer Forge Beast, in a Dutch oven. I got a big Dutch oven that one of the bread pans will fit down into. Um, check out his channel. It's called Our Rustic Life. Him and his son, Aiden. Uh, they have a little, a little homestead in northeast Oklahoma. They have some chickens and some pigs and a couple dogs and some barn cats and that kind of stuff. But I think his passion more is in the cooking stuff. And that's the, the flip side of his, his channel, is the cooking. And uh, he, he's, he's not a man of wealth. So when he cooks something, he's cooking, you can afford it. Because he's not out spending a uh, top dollar on the stuff that he cooks. He, he's cooking what the working man cooks, the family person, the uh, single parent. I mean, he's that guy. Right? He's also going to be starting, I think, he's got a indoor like in your house horticulture setup plant setup where supposedly you could grow vegetables like in your back bedroom the lighting and everything is is designed for that so i'm i'm excited to see that 
see that materialize. I'll put a channel iCard link down in the description, and maybe I'll find one of his favorite videos. Put put a you know one of his favorite videos, a couple of his favorite videos in on it. Um, tell him Rico. Tell him Rico sent you if you go over there. Wish him a happy birthday. It was his birthday yesterday. Uh, Facebook told me that's how I remember these things is thank you Facebook but tell him happy birthday or belated happy birthday let him know if you like what he's doing give him suggestions now if you haven't subscribed to Rico yet this is your first time checking us out go ahead and subscribe for me hit the uh, like button ring that notification bell all that good stuff you're supposed to do it helps the channels when you guys hit the likes and, and, and subscribe and stuff like that, that shows YouTube people like this channel. And then YouTube does all their wonderful magic to help that guy be successful, I guess. Okay, guys, we're in the, uh, oh, in my prep area, indoor prep area. Again, if you, uh, this is the first time that you've visited Rico's place and checked me out, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell, all that good stuff. Uh, Notification bell is important because then you get all my content if you like what I'm doing here. Let me go through. We're going to try to do this quickly and not draw it out like I usually do. Uh, let me go over the ingredients real quick. We have four cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon salt, four bananas, two cups of, uh, two cups of sugar, Three sticks of butter, four eggs, half a cup of sour cream, two packages or 12, 24 ounces of uh, this stuff, the blackberries, some vanilla. We're going to put the, uh, the flour, salt, and baking soda into a pan, and we're going to whisk that up, and then we're going to do the blackberries. So we're going to put 12 ounces of blackberries and two-thirds of granulated sugar into the pot here. And we're going to start by putting about a third of the blackberries in. And then we are just going to kind of smash some of these down. And we're just going to put the two-thirds granulated sugar over it. Now I did almost make a couple major mistakes here. Instead of 12 ounces of blackberries, we're putting 24 ounces because I'm I'm doubling the recipe. And so instead of two tablespoons of cornstarch, we are going to put four tablespoons of cornstarch. So I've added those, and now we're just going to stir this till it starts to thicken up, and the uh, Blackberries get a little bit softer and cook down just a little bit. The butter's room temperature. I cubed it up in little cubes just to make it easier on. Oop, you know what we didn't do though. I'm just getting used to using a KitchenAid. All right, that's better. <laughs> so we got the butter in. We're going to put the bananas. Now the bananas. And you're just going to mash them up with the fork until they're little pieces inside. We're just going to put those in with the butter. Probably should have got the butter going first and get it whipping. We're going to put it on one. Raise this puppy up. Put a little sugar in it. Then we're going to do the eggs. Put them in there just like one at a time. Sour cream. I'm getting sour cream everywhere. A teaspoon of... Uh, vanilla, but I doubled the recipe, so it's going to be 
two teaspoons. One. Just a little bit of cinnamon. But I think that is pretty good. We have two ingredients left. We have the, the blackberries, and then I also have this, I don't know the exact name, it's that really coarse, I call it cake sugar or baking sugar, but it's what you sprinkle on the top and it gives it that sugary, crunchy look on the top. So I'm gonna add like half the berries, swirl it, then I'm gonna put the other half of the, and swirl it, and then we're gonna put it in the cake pans. I'm gonna see if that works. So we're just gonna we're just gonna dump part of this in. We're gonna take this knife and we're just gonna and this isn't working like I thought it was going to work, so I don't know. It's almost like we're swirling it in. Mm. That is, if this turns out, it is gonna be tasty. But one of the main reasons why I make the banana bread and put them in there is, if you don't get a lot of the berries, into some of the batter when it goes in, you still got pretty good tasting banana bread. I always forget how much to put in these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this thing about three quarters. You're going to even it out and you're going to get some of the air bubbles. Okay, so that's good there. Now, take this sugar and you're just going to sprinkle it on top. You put as much as you want or as little. I don't, there's not a set amount, I don't think. We're going to go put this out in the, uh, in the smoker because we're cooking this banana bread in a Dutch oven on the reverse flow offset smoker, the uh, Hammer Forge Beast. I've stoked the fire in the, in the, in the burn box there. I've, I've added a piece of uh, almond wood to it. We're creeping back up on our 350 because we're going to cook these if you do it in your oven, 350 degrees, 50 minutes to an hour and five minutes or so. Uh, you know, do the stick a knife in it, and if it comes out clean, it's done. Also, go by by looks on the top. If it's uh, brown and it's looking like it's done, it might be done. We're going to... Put this into the beast. Get our temp up to 350. We're going to keep it right at 350. Oh, mother may I... Our, our old 
that job, man. Open that up a little more. I will, uh, I'll do a check probably 30 minutes in to see how it's doing. I don't know if I'll show you that check or not. Well, it just, it depends. It just depends. Okay, okay, hey. I'm excited. This is, uh, this is pretty exciting. I did, uh, I don't know if I told you guys earlier, but I went ahead and I made some of these little uh, miniature or single person loaves. Uh, I made four of them. I made them in the oven, so I wanted to compare the difference of the oven bread versus one done in a Dutch oven in a smoker. Now, the ones in the oven, they rose really good. They're 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 light. Um, they look good. Okay. The one in the smoker, it feels a little more dense. Um, it's not as tall. It smells pretty good though. So let's go ahead and cut into these. And we'll see what we're talking about here. Okay, then let's cut one of these guys. Let's just uh, let's just put a little, a little knife. I guess we'll use the uh, the Wustaf. So we put a little butter on it. Try the one, uh, the one out of the oven first. Oh. I should have used cream cheese. This is a. Uh, this is excellent. I definitely. We'll use this recipe again and make these little loaves. That turned out really good. I'll take some to work tomorrow and share. Now, the one in the, uh, the smoker. Smells like, you know, banana bread. It tastes exactly the same. It's good. Um, the only difference is it doesn't look as nice. Which I kind of know what I did wrong there. I'm going to try a few other things the next time. After tinkering a little bit, I could turn the uh, the beast into a, an oven where I can bake in it. Man, it's good. Uh, who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk you could do a blackberry banana bread in an offset smoker? That's all I got for you guys tonight. 
This is Rico, the tie-dye cowboy. Wishing you and your family well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Salutes, my friends. This is good.